Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are converting this Figma design into a real website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, we completed the design of the tablet version. Now in this video, we will design the mobile version. So let's get started. Alright, here's the source code. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just create a media query. So I'll just type at media. And for the mobile version, we will have a max width of 700 pixels. So I'll just type 700 pixels. Now whenever the screen width is less than 700 pixels, all the CSS that we have over here will be added to the web page. All right, now let's go to our browser and uh, let's select a mobile device from here. So I'll just select pixel to Excel. All right, this is how the mobile version looks right now. So the first thing we will do is we will set a padding for the wrapper. So right now we have a padding of 100 pixels. So if you scroll up and if you go to the media query for the iPad version, here we can see for the wrapper, we have set a padding of 100 pixels for left and right. So let's scroll down and uh, here we will add some padding to the wrapper. So I'll just tap wrapper and let's go to our Figma file and let's see what is the padding. So if we just double click over here and if you press alt or option, you can see that we have a padding of 32 pixels on the left and the right. So let's go back to our CSS and here I'll just tap padding of 0 for top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. Or now we can see we have a padding of 32 pixels. Now the next thing we will do is we will reduce the width of this paragraph. So if I right click over here and click on inspect. Here we can see for the paragraph we have set a width of 457 pixels. So I'll just remove this from here and we will set a width of 100%. So let's copy this selector and let's go back and paste it over here. And uh, here I just type width of 100%. And now we can see we have 100% width for the paragraph. And now here we can see that the width of these elements are not 100% of the width of the screen. So if you scroll down, we can see that we have these two buttons over here. So these two buttons are taking up a lot of width. So let's go back to our Figma file. And if you scroll down, we can see that both the buttons are one below the other. So let's go back to our CSS and let's do that. So let's select these buttons. So I'll just right click over here and click on inspect. And let's select the container division which is app buttons. So I'll just copy this selector. And here we can see we have added a display of flex. So we have to set the flex direction to column. So I'll just paste it over here. And here I'll just type flex direction column. And now we can see we have the correct width for all the elements in our mobile version. Alright, now the next thing we will do is we will reduce the padding of this mobile nav. So for that we have a nav with a class of mobile nav. So here we can see we have this mobile nav. So let's select that. So here I'll just type nav.mobile nav and I'll just set the padding to 32 pixels. And now when we scroll down we have a padding of 100 pixels for left and right. So let's add a padding of 32 pixels when we scroll down as well. So when we scroll down we are adding a class called scrolled. So I'll just type nav.mobile nav.scrolled. And when we scroll down, we will have a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. So now we can see it looks alright. Now if I click on this menu icon, we can see that the menu items are displayed over here. And uh, we also need to have the close button positioned over here to the right. So for the close button, we have a division with the class of close icon. And it is inside mobile menu container. So let's select this. Here I'll just type mobile menu container close icon and let's set the right position to 32 pixels all right now we have the close button in the correct position all right now the next thing we will do is style this heading so let's go back to our figma file and uh, let's go to the heading and let's double click on this heading and uh, if you go to inspect and scroll down we can see we have a font size of 36 pixels so let's copy this and let's go back to our css and i'll just select the heading so if you go back to our browser and if you right click over here and click on inspect here we can see for the heading we have this selector hero section left h1 so i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it over here and uh, let's copy this font size and uh, let's paste it over here all right now the next thing we will do is we will reduce the height of this image so let's right click over here on the image and click on inspect and for the image, we have this selector. So I'll just copy this. And right now the height is set to 580 pixels. 
so I'll just paste it over here and let's try a height of 400 pixels and I think that looks alright we'll also move this image to the right a little bit so the image is inside this right division so let's select this right division so let's type hero section right and we'll type transform translate X and uh, we will set it to 40 pixels now let's style these achievement cards so let's go back to our Figma file and let's select this uh, heading and here we can see for the heading we have a font size of 30 pixels so let's go back and uh, let's select the heading so I'll just right click over here and click on inspect and let's copy this selector and let's paste it over here and uh, I'll just type font size 30 pixels and we'll also reduce the margin between these two elements so let's go back to our Figma file and uh, here we can see we have a spacing of 48 pixels so let's go back and if you right click over here and click on inspect and let's select this achievement card and here we can see we have a margin bottom of 80 pixels so let's copy this selector and uh, we have to set it to 48 pixels so I'll just paste it over here and I'll just type margin bottom 48 pixels now let's go back to our Figma file and here we can see these two achievement cards are positioned to the left so from the left we have a padding of 32 pixels so let's go back and if you right click over here on the achievement card and uh, click on inspect and if we select the container division we can see we have added a margin of 40 pixels so let's remove that so I'll just copy this selector and paste it over here and I'll just set the margin to 0 and I think we can position the image to the right a little bit so here in the right division I'll just change this to let's say 80 pixels and now we can see that the image has moved to the right but uh, here we can see we also have this space on the right because of the image so what we will do is I'll just cut this from here and I'll just paste it over here inside the IMG tag and here in the right division I'll just type overflow hidden and let's decrease this a little bit let's set it to let's say 50 pixels and now we can move this right division to the right so I'll just type transform translate X and uh, let's start with 30 pixels and I think that looks all right all right that's it with the hero section of our mobile device now let's scroll down and let's start styling the other sections and the first thing we will do is style these headings so let's go back to our Figma file and uh, let's double click on this heading and uh, let's go to inspect and if we scroll down we can see for the heading we have a font size of 30 pixels so let's copy this and let's go back to our CSS and here I'll just type h2 because uh, if we go back to our HTML file we can see we have h2 for all the headings inside the sections so here we can see we have the h2 so let's go back and uh, let's set the font size to 30 pixels right now let's style the elements of this testimonial card so let's go back to our Figma file and let's double click over here and uh, let's see what is the font size of this text so if you go to inspect we can see that we have a font size of 18 pixels let's go back to our browser and let's see what is the font size and we already have a font size of 18 pixels or right, now let's select this heading and for the heading we have a font size of 18 pixels so let's go back to our browser and uh, let's select the heading and uh, for the heading we have a font size of 24 pixels so we have to change this to 18 pixels so let's copy this selector and let's go back to our CSS and here I'll just paste the selector and I'll just type font size 18 pixels or right, now let's go back to our Figma file and let's select this text and for that we have a font size of 14 pixels let's go back to our browser and let's copy the selector so I'll just right click over here and click on inspect and let's copy this selector and uh, let's paste it over here And let's set a font size of 14 pixels right now let's go back and let's see what is the size of this image so let's double click over here and for the image we have a height and a width of 100 pixels so let's go back and let's right click over here and click on inspect and here we can see we have set a height of 120 pixels so let's copy this selector 
and uh, let's paste it over here and here let's type height of 100 pixels and width of 100 pixels all right that's it with the testimonial section now let's move on to the next section which is the our courses section now let's go back to our figma file and if we scroll down we can see that for the courses section we don't have any padding at the sides for these course cards so let's go back to our uh, html and here we can see if we scroll down we can see for the courses section we have this section over here called courses section and in that we have the wrapper so what we will do is we will remove the padding from the wrapper inside the courses section so let's go to a styler css file and let's select the wrapper inside the courses section so i just type courses section wrapper and i'll just set the padding to zero and now we can see we don't have any padding for the course cards now let's see what is the height of this image so let's go back to our figma file and let's double click on this image and we can see we have a height of 240 pixels so let's go back and uh, let's add that over here so let's right click over here and click on inspect and uh, let's copy this selector for the image and uh, let's paste it over here and here I'll just tap height of 240 pixels and the last thing we will do is uh, we will position this button to the right so we'll have a spacing of 32 pixels from the right so here we can see from the button we have a space of 32 pixels so let's go back and uh, let's select this button so I'll just right click over here and click on inspect and here we have the selector for the button so I'll just copy this selector and I'll just paste it over here and let's set the right position to 32 pixels and that looks alright so that's basically it with the courses section of our mobile version now let's scroll down and we have already styled the get our app section so let's scroll down and uh, let's style the footer now if you go back to our figma file we can see that for the footer we have just one column and everything is aligned to the center so let's go back to our browser and let's right click over here and click on inspect and if you go inside the footer we can see we have a division with the class of links container and for that we have set a display of grid and uh, if you scroll down we can see that we are adding grid template columns of 1fr 1fr which means that there will be two columns so let's change this to 1fr so it will just have one column so i'll just copy this selector and let's go back to our css and i'll just paste it over here and here i'll just type grid template columns and set it to 1fr and now we can see we still have two columns over here that's because uh, for the third column we have spanned it for two columns so if you right click over here and click on inspect and select this third links and here we can see we have set grid columns to one forward slash three which means that it will span for two columns so we have to change this to one forward slash two so let's copy this selector and uh, let's paste it over here and here let's type grid column and one forward slash two and now we can see we just have one column all right now let's also center align everything so here in the links container i'll just type text align and set it to center we'll also remove the padding that we have for the ul so if you right click over here and click on inspect and uh, if we select the ul and if we scroll down we can see that we have some padding over here on the left so let's remove the padding so here i'll just type footer ul and let's set the padding to zero and we'll also add some gap between these links so here i'll just type gap and set it to 40 pixels and uh, that looks all right all right now let's style this button so let's go back to our figma file and uh, here we can see we have the button at the bottom of the input field so let's go back to our browser and let's right click over here on the button and click on inspect and if we scroll up we can see that these are the styles for the button and we have set the right position to 5 and top position to 50% so that's why the button is over here on the right so let's copy this selector and uh, let's go back over here to CSS and I'll just paste it over here and let's set the top position to 130% so it will be below the input field and we'll also bring it to the center so let's type left and I'll just set it to 50% and now we can see it starts from the 50% mark so we have to type transform translate x and negative 50% and now we can see that the button is positioned correctly all right now the last thing we will do is we'll style this copyright division so if you go back to our index.html file here we can see we have this paragraph with the class of copyright so let's select this 
so here I'll just type footer copyright and we will have some margin top so let's type margin top and we'll set the margin top to 80 pixels and we'll also text align it to the center and that looks all right so with that we have completed the design of the mobile version here we can see we have the hero section and we also have this menu button over here and if I click on that we can see that the menu items are displayed over here and if I click on this close button it goes back and let's scroll down and here we have the testimonial section and let's scroll down we have the courses section and then we have the get our app section and then we have the footer so everything is looking all right all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day